Hey there, it's Paul. Today we're looking at Ionic 340 and as you can see on screen we have a substantial amount of bug fixes, features and performance improvements. To get this in your application, we're going to upgrade a standard app from Ionic 3.30 to 3.40. You can see here that there's been a substantial amount of changes to the keyboard with some refactoring of the code and closing a lot of issues. There seems to be a lot of excitement around the latest potential Ionic V4 builds, uh, which we're sort of seeing on GitHub in alpha mode at the moment with web components. I'm really excited for that. But for now, let's look at Ionic 3.4.0 and upgrading that inside of our apps. So I've yet to test this with the latest Angular 4.2, but if you want to, you can go ahead and upgrade to Ionic 4.2 and let me know inside of the comments to see your response. But at the moment, I'm going to stick at a 4.13 as I know this is definitely stable with that. Outside of that, we can knock our Ionic native versions up to the latest, which is currently 3.12.1. And this then also goes for each one of your Ionic native plugins that you do actually have inside of your project. The main thing here is upgrading our Ionic Angular to 3.40. And of course, we'll also knock up our RxJS to 5.40. Our Zone.js can be upgraded to 0.8.12. And that should be everything for now. Bear in mind that these numbers on screen at the moment are not going to be indefinite. Things are going to change and upgrade as time goes by. And like I said already, there's a higher version of Angular out, but I haven't tested it with this version yet, so I don't want to recommend that. But it's 99% of the time going to be fine. But like I said, these are just how we can upgrade our project from 3.3 to 3.4. It's up to you from there on out to continue and keep your project up to date. But to get this actually in your project, let's remove our node modules. From here on out, we can then run npm install, providing you saved your package.json. And this will install the node modules inside of our app based on the versions that we've specified here in our dependencies. So this should be Ionic 3.40 as well as the other changes. If you're interested in learning more about Ionic, don't forget I have a course to learn Ionic 3 from scratch and you can find that inside of the description. And today I've just launched a new course, which is Mastering Ionic 3 with Ionic Native. So that looks a different Ionic Native integrations, everything from the camera to a YouTube player, We're looking at things like contacts, push notifications with one signal and local notifications and much more have an early bird discount code where you can check them out and get them super cheap while they are still in early access. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to upgrade your applications to Ionic 3.4.0. And until next time, I'll see you very soon in that next video.